Hey, I'm Dan from Architects, and I'm going to show you my three favourite rudiments. Everyone hates rudiments, and they, they shouldn't, because rudiments are great. Okay, um, that's not a convincing intro, but I'll try and convince you that they are good. Uh, so, probably number one on my list. It's a pretty basic rudiment. It's just the para diddle diddle. Uh, right, left, right, right, left, left. Um, this is like sort of an om chant for me, just to do when I'm warming up. It's got a nice sort of cyclical feel to it. Um, and if you sort of see me warming up or backstage or whatever, you can usually find me sort of just talking to someone whilst doing this. So as I said, it's just right, 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 left, right, right, left, left. Faster. Faster. So it's a great, it's a great rudiment for playing off the cymbals because you've got that obvious accent every time going off it. Uh, you see drummers doing it all the time. You think they're playing super fast singles. They're not. They're doing this. So they're going like this. So that is my number one. It's the it's the most fun and most relaxing. It's like a it's like a meditation rudiment. No one's gonna buy into that. Anyway, number two is a similar similar rudiment. Still got that uh, six three feel to it. It's a six stroke roll. Six stroke roll. So I see this in a lot of like sort of drum handbook textbooks as like a sort of singular standalone exercise. You do it once and you stop, which I, I, I don't understand why. It's cool if you play it over and over. It's got, it's a very similar sounding to the paradiddle diddle, but it's got a really cool like downbeat feel to it when you accent the last left. So the sticking, is right, left, left, right, right, left. Bit faster. Bit faster. Played over and over again. So like the para diddle diddle, it's a great uh, rudiment to play just on off the snare onto cymbals. So just like. Um, and yeah, there's so many ways you can mix it up. Drop kicks in, um, yeah. It's a really, really cool rudiment. And mixing the two up is also great. In fact, I'm gonna throw you a curveball on this one and throw in uh, a double paradiddle. Right, left, right, left, right, right. And if you put these three all in a row, only once through for each one, it goes to left hand lead and you have to play all three with your left hand leading instead of your right, which a lot of people don't do. Uh, so yeah, the para, the para, no, the double para diddle is, as I said, right, left, right, left, right, right, and then it would switch to left, right, left, right, left, left. Probably the hardest of the three, but going through each one just once and then switching to left hand lead after three of them is like this. So that's a challenge for you. So it's ready? Right, left, right, right, left, left. Right, left, left, right, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, right. Left, right, left, left, right, right. Left, right, right, left, left, right. Left, right, left, right, left, left. left. 
Give it a go.